This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Netflix, Gamefly, and Celestial Seasoning's Roofie Time Team for when your kids need to go to sleep real fast. Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know you're in Southern, it's Southern California and I have fruit. You put <laughs> zombie and you put ear in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Dignation, episode number 199. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Dignation covers some of the user hottest submitted stories in the social news. User website. hottest. Dig.com, that's D-I-G-G-A.com. That's right, and we're here in San Francisco, California at your buddy's tea shop. Yeah, Samovar Tea Lounge. This it's, is amazing. Uh, this is a great brand new location that just opened up for Samovar. It is probably, he has um, three locations now, and it's probably my favorite tea shop in San Francisco. I have to say, uh, yeah, we had lunch here mm -hmm. and a little bit of tea. Mm -hmm. First off, food amazing. Secondly, mm -hmm. the tea is like wine here. I mean, it's crazy. There's like, there's some high end some teas crazy here. Crazy teas. There's here. like a there's a tea on the menu that's like fifty dollars for just a tiny little bit of it, but it's so good. We're gonna try some teas. I'm excited uh, here in a second. What? Um, uh, so what teas are we gonna try today? Because I, I I'm on record as going. I like teas. Yes. I was a sleepy time tea myself at the beginning. Right. You were the celestial seasoning. Guy. Now I'm. But Hello. What's can up? I get for you guys today? I do. I love it. Okay. What are we gonna get? Okay. So um, we were thinking. He's new. He's yes. never tried tea before. We need something to really kind of, well, you've tried tea, but you haven't tried good tea. I just had some for lunch, but that's all right. Something like a girokoto to kind of like just Kiyokuro. really kind of sock them in the ribs. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, maybe a puer like uh, Mains Mains Ecstasy. Ecstasy. That's a good one. Uh, I um, smelled a little bit of that on lunch. <laughs> yeah, you did. You I did. did yeah, yeah, I did. You try it. And then, oh, the, uh, the shake. Matcha. Matcha shake. Matcha. Yes. All right, all right you got Matcha it. Shake. Thank you. Love it. Okay. These are some amazing teas. So, um, we should, we should definitely uh, say thank you to Jesse for letting us uh, host the show yes, here. Yes, most and then, definitely. Uh, check out his website at uh, samovarlife.com. Um, I'm putting up a, a tea thing, kit. right? Yeah. I'm putting up a tea kit there at samovarlife.com slash Kevin. There will be like three different teas. We're going to be do a little video up there. Nice. It's going to be awesome. And then he's also on Twitter at uh, samovarlife. So cool Yeah, because people have been asking a lot about tea well, they wanna... recommendations. Because you, I mean, I will say you were probably one of the most well-known tea aficionados I don't that know I that there's know. many of us on the internet. That's the whole point. That's I what I'm think, saying. So yeah, people yeah. are dying for that access to tea and they're going, dude, Kevin, Well, it's like, I, it I think that for the longest time it's always been like, um, geeks have been, I mean, we've been drinking caffeinated like sodas for yep. how long? Since I was Since like I was four. four, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so, I don't know, it was uh, probably around 2000 where I thought like, hey, it'd be cool to stop drinking soda and just try something a little bit more healthier, you know? Yeah. And it's not as much crash. You know when you drink like a soda or like a Red Bull, you get this really awesome like boost of energy. Yeah. You're on your computer crank and then all of a sudden like an hour and a half later, it's like this big crash. Yeah, hit yeah. the wall. So um, this is a good intro to that. There's some of these teas. We're going to do a little intro video to teach you more about them. So check it out, uh, samvarlife.com slash Kevin. Dude, I love it. Well, I'm excited to have the teas. Yes. But before we get into it, I just want to say... My little doggy's in an iPhone app. No way! Dude, I know. You it, didn't tell me, I, well, you I told me you were working on this. I told you I was working on this. So my buddy, check it out. I lick. I told you. I, did dude. I tell you I lick or was that your idea? That was our idea. Okay, okay. But, dude, icon, all your idea. Okay. You're like, it's got to have a good icon. It does have to check have a good icon. Check this out, dude. Look, ready? Oh, no. You got to show the, show right, the dude, crowd. All right, dude. So here you go. So, so this, this is... Tell this, me, well, we don't know what happened. All right. So basically what happened was a buddy of mine was like, hey, I got this idea for this iPhone app. And I was like, I want to make an iPhone app so bad it's not even funny. And I was going to make the cat iPhone app, like cats <coughs> rolling around. Yeah, 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 pet the cats. Pet the cats. It's not going to work. And then we, we he came up with this great idea. Uh oh, first oh, up. Whoa. All right, we'll this is the matcha island. shake. So this is basically what? green tea, ground green tea, yes. sugar, and soy milk. This is one of my favorites here, more. Yeah. Yes, very exciting. The matcha is pretty awesome because it's the entire leaf that's Thank ground you. up. They it's actually the use leaf. a little thing like that to grind it up. Thank you. All right. Um, it's got a good little boost, Chaz. It's a little boost. All right, here Thank we go. You. Let's see. First round. Oh, that's great. You like it? Yeah. It's really good. Because it's, 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 like, it's a little green, a little bit grassy, but it's the but it's soy got that milk really and the kind of sugar kind of taste. chills yeah. a little bit. Mm. This is my favorite when it's hot in San Francisco to come in and get one of these. Do oh, yeah. Not, it's actually hot right now. Do not look it like that in front Dude. of the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Although, speaking of which... Let me get, Glenn, let you me, gotta try this. Yeah, you gotta try this, hips. 
that's that's a little too good. If you know what I mean. Yeah, go Glenn. Yeah. So anyway, so my buddy came to me with this idea, mm -hmm. and was like, "Dude, we have to get Montana into it." So this is the app. Pops open. You get choice. Montana. Oh, I lick. It's called I lick. Montana, my dog. Uh, Apollo, his dog. Okay, choose Montana. All right, all right, check this out. Ready? Let me see, let me see. <laughs> that is so awesome. You know how long it took for us to be able to get her to lick the screen like that? So did you put like a green screen on there and then... I we shot her all on the green screen, the TRS green screen. Oh, that is awesome. And how, then, and how's then you, been your reaction? you go back. Well, we, this hasn't launched yet, so it may not even have been out by the time this, this comes out. Um, oh, dude, turn that around. But dude, I'm telling you right now, any guy, so far all the people we've shown this to, guys are all like, I want this on my iPhone because this will get me girls in bars. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> right? No doubt. You're just like, I oh, have yeah. to be looking at my dog. Oh, whoops, this is my dog just at home. Just claim it's your dog. Claim it's your dog. Nobody knows. That's yeah. amazing. And for girls, it's like pocket dog. It so pocket so dog. We're, we're launching this. It should be out on the 20th of April, so it should already be out. But if not, dude, um, you, search for it. We're gonna, you, sir, are going to be a multi-millionaire off I don't know. We'll see. Right now. We'll see. Okay, so this is the Maiden's Ecstasy. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Mm, that sounds really this good. From, oh, that was <laughs> right <laughs> under my nose. I love it. This is a that blue from the Yunnan province, China. Okay. And it comes served in the Yixing pots. Mm -hmm. And yeah. these little clay pots help keep in some of the flavor you brew. Each of them for about 20 to 35 seconds, depending on how strong you like it. All right. And they're kind of damp, like smoky. Not so smoky, I'm sorry, but more. Damp? Yeah, it tastes like damp earth almost. Really, really oh, fast. Oh, it's okay. a good alternative to coffee, but it's low in caffeine. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So this is a little different. What you're having right now is like a, a green tea, a green yeah, matcha tea. This is tea. like a party in my mouth with matcha. Yeah, right. What? So, this is, so, yeah, a bit different. This yeah. is a little bit of camping, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of forest. Yeah, more of an adventure. A little bit of Ewok, kind oh. of. So we're going to Endor, are we? <laughs> right, exactly. All right. Let's see what Endor. Endor is all about. Oh, I smell the dampness. How good does that smell? It smells damp. This is my favorite uh, puer tea that they, they uh, carry here. Now you say puer tea? Yes. You know that puer is Latin for boy. It is not. It is, actually. Um, so these can be aged. These can be aged like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Some of them will go for like thousands of dollars per pound. God, that blows my mind that there's like this whole industry that I had just no concept of. That's good. That's good. This is, this is like really, this is my favorite puer that they carry. All right. So typically when you find these, you'll find them like in cakes, they're pressed in like cake form. You've seen some of that stuff in my house, right? You kind of break it off the cake. Oh, that's what that was? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was other things. This is really good. It's crisp. You like it? Yeah, I do. It's, it's, it's not quite, it looks really dark like it would be yeah, like super dark at all. But it's, it's like real light. light. And earthy, it's like camping, chocolate camping, as you said. That's what I said, absolutely. So, mm. I mean, it's hard to say when you're hot, because I'm hot right now, it's hard to turn away right. a nice, creamy milk and sugar tea. Yes. Mm. You're gonna be so, watch, in about I am gonna five be minutes, you're gonna be bouncing wired. off the walls. I'm gonna be wired. All I gotta do is get back on a plane and be like, I'm a Virgin America. <laughs> Who's not watching on my show? <laughs> I'll be walking by and like being like, everybody should be watching my show on Virgin America. Like, uh, and then I'm sleeping in the aisle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like really landing and I'm like, <sighs> That's awesome, drools look coming out. I love it. Well, shall we actually start the yes, show? Yes, let's do it. All right, first story. Man gets paid $2,500 to impregnate neighbor's wife, fails 72 times. <laughs> I seriously did not. This is, this is an unbelievable story. So 5,938 people dug the story submitted by Steve Janus, Janowski. Steve mm -hmm. Janowski. Stevie Janowski. Great, okay. So it, this is in uh, Stuttgart, Germany. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Makes so sense. here's the best part, right? So guy is trying to get wife pregnant. Can't failing. do it. Goes to the doctor. The doctor goes, bro, you're impotent. Right. Uh, it happens to the best of us. I mean, sort of, but it happened to you. And he goes, damn it, I really wanted to have a kid. Hey, my buddy Bill, next door, he looks a lot like me. Seriously? Seriously? That was his reasoning This is for part it. of the reasoning. He looks a lot like me, so if he and impregnated like, my wife, then my kid would still sort of look like me, oh, even though it was man. Bill's kid. So Bill goes, bro, what the hell are you talking about? And he's like, no, dude, it'll be perfect. You just come over at night, have sex with my wife, she gets pregnant, I'll give you, tw like, $2,500, and, and we'll call it a day. And he's like, okay, I gotta talk to my wife about this, and she's like, 
what? No, I'm not gonna let you just go over there every night and bang the neighbor's wife. Right. So she's like, he's like, look, I, I'm doing this for the money. And he's like, okay. Twenty five hundred bucks. Six bikes. months. They tried for six no, 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 no. months. That's called like an affair. I'm sorry, at that point. Dude, but they, she, he couldn't get her pregnant. And then the best part is his neighbor has two kids. He goes to the doctor because he's like, bro, how come I can't get this other chick pregnant? And goes, you're impotent. And then it turns out his wife, the two kids aren't even his. Oh. And that's how you find out? Because you get paid to go have sex with your neighbor's wife? That's how you find out that you're kids aren't even yours that's horrible and now his buddy's suing him for breach of contract oh, because no he did he wants his 2500 back because he didn't impregnate his wife and he goes bro the well, contract state i agree i mean he got 72 times with the wife but and he I, wants his 2500 pay him back he, his 2500 bucks i agree but here's the thing so the guy said he's refusing to give up the money because as he says he did not guarantee conception mm, well. but only that he would give it an honest try we need to get the impregnator over there because hey, Prager can get the job him. done. 2,500 bucks. Oh. oh, Prager can get the job done. But how crazy is this? Are you kidding me? Like, stuff like that actually happens? Why don't I live in Germany? Dude, have you, you know Germany's crazy. You know what I'm talking about, right? No, you just mumbled. The crazy German porn stuff? No, there's you crazy have German. Not, you've heard of that. No. Glenn, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I'm not aware of it. Like the crazy German porn stuff? There's crazy German porn stuff? Well, okay, we're I mean, taking they... a break. From good, no, that's oh, a perfect nice. time. Right, <laughs> right, right, right on the porn cue. Right. Good, good, good. All right, good this is the last one. This you got it. This is amazing. This is a It's a fine quality Japanese sencha, and we steep it for five minutes with cold infusion to protect the leaves from the hot water. So you guys have five minutes to talk craziness. Wait, what? You, steep you have to steep it, for it cold first infusion? before you can actually drink it. Will you come back and help us in five yeah, minutes? Yeah, I'll be back. Be good, yeah, because I'm not going to know what the hell she just said. I know how to do it. I just wanted her to come back. So yeah, I hear you. So, um, dude, next time, next thing, next time your neighbor says, please have sex with my wife and I'll pay you, it may not be all that it's cracked up to be. Right. And he even complained to his wife. He literally said, I don't like this any more than you. I'm simply doing it for the money. No. Try to understand. Come on. 72 times? 70, I don't think so. You know what? After like four or five times, if you don't four like or five. It, well, 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 First off, what do you mean don't like it? You're having sex right, with a woman. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. After four or five times, and his wife's like, well, you've tried. You should stop now. And he's like, well, it is $2,500. I should go do it another 60 sometimes. He's clearly doing it because he likes it, right? I, I agree with that, dude, of course. Yeah. That's anyway. Fair. fair. All right, what up? All right, next, next story of the day. This one is a really good one. Six geniuses who saw their inventions go terribly wrong. 2,265 people dug this story submitted by R. Bros. Callie. This is an awesome story. Ambrose Cali? Ambrose Cali. Yeah, that's it. Hey, I'm excited. So what? Okay. Let's see. So six inventors thought they had a really cool idea, thought they yep. were going to launch something like, well, they did all change the earth in one way or another. Sure. But then saw them go a little bit sideways, their okay. ideas. Okay. Number six, Orville Wright, of course, invented the airplane. Really? But he lived to see one used to vaporize an entire city. Oh, you see that's what I'm interesting. So, so basically, you know, World War One. So, it vaporized the entire city. The plane yeah. ended up, and so you know, when you're kind of dying, and you're like, I invented this thing that ended up yeah. turning into this mass killing War machine. machine. Yeah, it's I guess kind of that's, a kind yeah, of a that crappy is, thing. That's interesting. Right. Um, number five, Peter Peter Carl Goldmark. Okay. He invented the LP record. You know, okay. great How's invention. That go sideways? He lived to see rap DJs scratching the hell out of them. Oh, dude, that, that's you horrible. know that had to kind of like because he was like a much like, older man. Whoa, that is like a high quality LP. When, you were scratching, son. He was that in his eighties by the time that happened. <laughs> uh, Philo T. Farmsworth invented the modern Milo. television. Philo, Philo, Philo. Thank you, Fine. thank you, Glenn. Philo T. Farmsworth invented to see the modern <laughs> television. <laughs> lived to see Gilgan's <laughs> Island. <laughs> <laughs> what that are sucks. you doing to my device? Um, I got a couple more. Come on, internet. All right. Number six, Mary Phelps Jacob invented the bra. Oh, good. I lived like that. to see the burning bra. The bra burning with a thin. I don't think it's a bad That's thing. That's not a bad she thing. That was a very, like, that. hey, yeah, release pro, the beast. Pro limit women yeah. statement there. Um, so, Robert Pro. How do you pronounce that last name? I think it's Probst. Probst? Invented the revolutionary open landscape offices, lived to see the cubicle farm. Dude, now that one I will actually say is a little tough because I, there are times, do you ever have you? that thing? My dentist's office, this is gonna sound really weird and it's gonna connect in a second, trust me. Uh, I've had a lot of caffeine. 
in a very short period of time. It's only going to get worse. I'm very excited for it to be worse. My dentist's office, the smell in that, it's so office building-y that it like flashes me back to when I was like working in an office, hated what I was doing, getting up early, going and sitting in like a cubicle, pounding away at a keyboard, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you had some of it, you had a job like that, right? Yes. You're thinking about something else. What are you thinking about? Are you waiting for the flow to come? Or a hot teaser to come. Okay, let's get a crunch of the teaser. She's pretty hot. I'm just out. saying. Um, so yeah, I think it's been five minutes, right? No, yeah, no, like forty-five <laughs> seconds. Uh, four seconds. Forty-five okay. seconds. Look at that. More. Come on. I'm jumping the gun. I know you are. You're that jumping is, something. That's horrible. Uh, uh, but yeah, no. So for me, I always had those like I have this like visceral response when I go to the dentist, even more so than the fact that I am going to the freaking dentist. Right. Like, I walk in and I go, oh my god, this smells like when I used to work in an office. Ugh. Even though I'm walking Ooh. in to get cavities filled. You gotta go to my dentist. The green dentist, she's awesome. What? Is that like Jolly Green Giant? It's kind of. No, it's, it's like an open <laughs> area dentist. Be, if your dentist was the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> I'm like, you have to meet her. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, oh. It's like, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> All right, that could have possibly been 45 seconds. All right, All right here we go. Okay. So, so explain us what's going on so now. So this is the first cold infusion, and we do this one to protect the leaves from the warmth of the infusions to come. Right. Okay. And each one... And you have to... Shake. Yeah, you have to shake it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Each one changes in complexity as you continue to infuse. Oh. So, what do we oh. expect here? Hold Interesting on. Interesting smell. Um, like unami flavors, which is like a Japanese savory flavors. What? Unami. 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 Yeah. yeah. Sounds so, like some sort of video game company. So when company. you sip this in, um, you can slurp a little bit. You can go like, oh, thank you. That's like that's like polite. He's had this before. Okay. Sure. And then roll it around the tongue. Yeah. All right. And that's you what get she a good said. flavor. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on. That's so good. Is this your favorite? Um, I really like the Earl Grey. I think we have the best Earl Grey I've ever had. The bergamot, it's amazing. What about the chai? The Earl Grey. I do chai with like a quarter pound of sugar in it. I don't think I'm a fan of this. Is it a little too strong for you? It smells a little bit like what I make. Origami? Origami, yeah. Yeah. Wait till you try the next deep. Yeah, maybe the next deep. The next deep's about ready, so hurry up, hurry up. Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, no, you have to down that. Down that. Just do it. (laughs) Oh, Nagi. (laughs) (laughs) This is an acquired taste now. This is a little bit more hardcore. This is the one I was going to tell you was going to punch you in the ribs a little bit. Yeah, you you have to to drink with us. Oh, there you go. Okay. But wait, wait, wait. You have to do the shaking. There's the shaking. Shake shake a little bit. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Work, work, work. Okay. All right. Cheers. Kampai, as they say. I don't know if you can do that legally with tea. (laughs) Oh. It's a different flavor. Yeah, now that's better. Not as grassy for you. Okay, it's getting there. <laughs> it wasn't a grassy, it was more mm, other. Mm. Mm. You guys want more? You probably don't. Oh, this is nice. Okay. You like it I'll now? have more in a little bit, yeah. It's getting better. I still think this might have been my favorite. The main favorite. sexy thing is your favorite? Masha shakes mine. Out of the three. All right, you've got 30 seconds. Can 30 you handle seconds? it? Yeah, I got can it. Handle it. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try a little bit more of the Maiden's Anguish. Ecstasy? Anguish? What? One of those two. Uh, that is probably um, steeped for way too long because I just had some oh, that really? still steeped. You're fine. Uh, Pours oh, are definitely. hard to oversteep. All right. Mm. Um, oh, man, that is good. Yeah, the, the last one was not my favorite. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, the slushy was amazing. That was something I could drink every day. <laughs> the the maiden's a- ecstasy was as as advertised. Mm-hmm. Chocolatey, foresty. <laughs> Chocolatey, foresty. Um, ecstasy. The gyro quarter, though. Is, this you, tastes a little bit did like. Did you see the inside what of I this? Make when I throw up. Yeah, that's what I, I thought mean, that's, it would look like. I don't know if Glenn can get on that, <laughs> but this is like a really fine, delicate green tea, Japanese green tea. And it, like I said, remember I said I, this is the one that's going to kind of punch you a little bit? It did. It punched me in the, in the vomit sack. It's, um, it's a little bit hardcore. <laughs> Sorry, not in a good way. But I'm going to try a little more than me. All right, let's move on to the next story, let's do shall it. we? I photo discovers face in chocolate chip cookie dough, question mark. 2,841 oh, people dug this story submitted by Baru. I photo's face detection isn't perfect, but we can't blame the software for spotting a face in this unbaked batch of cookies look at this so it's an unbaked batch of cookies and they have the face detection thing in iPhoto oh nice (laughs) it looks like a bear 
<laughs> it, it looks like a little it looks like a little panda. And so the face detection software was like, I think it's it, is it a panda is a bear human? in a field of cookie dough? That's what the That's computer awesome. thinks. How great is that? Hey, I've, have you played around with this? No, you don't have a Mac. <clears throat> no. I'll and tell you is some, it in the software? Yeah, have you seen software? this? Let no. me show you. Um, one of the things that's really cool is it found, <clears throat> sorry, it found um, my niece, and it said, is my, uh, my niece my sister? It kept thinking my niece was my sister, because they look like each other. Wait, so you tell it who like, of people you. that you, it learns to know people, and then it tags right. them? So like, here's, here's all my friends, Oh, right? you gotta be kidding me. Here's your pool. Look at it, found that one. It says, this may also be in this photo. Look at that, is this? That is hysterical, that is me. Now watch, confirm name. I click to confirm. Alex Albrecht, So Boom. now it's gonna be, it's gonna learn more? Right, so now it's learning a little bit more. So now if I go back in there. Um, Wait, you've gotta have more. Now look at it, it's finding these other people. Look at it. Who the hell is that That's guy? Joshua Schachter, yeah, that's not you. But. Um, that's me though. So I can confirm that is you there, that's you there. And then it throws you in and it learns a little bit more. Oh, that's Pretty cool, awesome. huh? And I click done. Boom, and oh, now there it's you find, go. Now now it's finding, finding you more. again. Cool, huh? Dude, I love that I look sort of like all these people. He's got a Rochelle little a little bit. That's good. It's dude, the glasses. See, it's it is the glasses. glasses yeah. In. Isn't dude, that awesome? That's though? really cool. I know. It's cool because I have like you know fifteen thousand photos. I don't want to take the time to have to go and like label find all my all. friends, yeah, yeah, label yeah. my friends, and like basically, I mean, it, and then it lets you scroll through and like you can see how they all kind of look the same, like the, yeah, the yeah, face, yeah. facial recognition stuff. I'm trying to think, there's see a bunch of Prager. See that. Yeah, Prager is very unique looking. Pretty cool, huh? Dude, it's awesome. Yeah. And I love that there's now unknown faces, which are teddy bear uh, in chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah, mine's gotten it wrong a few times too, where it's like found really weird kind of things. Like, oh really? Like not even like a face? Like cats and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'll go home and play that. I don't think Heather you, knows about that. You can do it with your dog. Like you can tag your dog and we'll find your dog in other Are we back on photos. German porn now? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, Nobody wants you to gotta, do my dog. You gotta down this with me though, because I want you to feel the uptake, the up little kick that you get from this. Just do it. Oh god, that is disgusting. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's gonna be screwed. Not he's had like, he never drinks tea. All the tea guys are like laughing at He's like, ah ha ha, he's screwed. Uh, You've had, he's had like five cups now, dude. You're gonna be floating out of here. Bro, I'm floating already. <laughs> This is like, I've, I'm, 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 I think I might be tea high. I don't even think that's a thing you could do. But no, I mean, it, it is might a be, thing you could do, absolutely. That's amazing. Uh, good, so cookies work. Cookies do and work. the planet is safe at last. All right, uh, sponsors or uh, my story? Your story, then okay, sponsors. My, spo my story. My sponsor. Where are they now? 25 computer products that refuse to die. 2,546 people dug this story submitted by Chris1234. Uh -huh. um, these are products that we've had around for ages now and they just won't go away first one dot matrix printers dude those they still sell them. everywhere they still well, make them still and sell people them. use them i know doctor's offices yeah like auto like that. repair shops like yeah. car car places why is that dude when heather heather just bought a car and all Bro. of this stuff came out dot matrix and i was like are you really doing this like this and i mean it was like fancy car place right and they're like dot matrix printers. dot matrix printers. i mean they were like it was because the, the, the Mazda she got was connected to this like Ashton Martin dealership. And so it's like an Ashton Martin dealership and they're printing these things out on Dot Matrix. I was like, what the heck? What do we live in a cave? Dude, did you ever see that Dot Matrix music? No. Listen to this. <clears throat> Hold on. It's, I'm, I'm holding. Craig almost like to relate. It's, it. it's using a printer to make the music. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? You can see how that's making music. Look, I've right? had a lot of tea. <laughs> I have not had that much tea. I just love it. It was like, and he's going right. Can Come you, on, you can get into that, right? You feel it, and then there's a little downbeat. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wouldn't want that? I, it's kind of fun to make. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're like, hey, hey, baby. Let me just let me turn down on, the lights the and turn on some music. <laughs> this is an original creation of my own. Geeky <laughs> girls would be into that. Dude, even geeky girls would be like, I think you just killed a dot matrix printer and recorded it. And no, I will not have sex with you. I don't know, it's pretty funny. Again. <laughs> All right, so dot matrix printer was number one. Okay. Hayes modems, Dude, mini modems. discs. 
Why are mini discs still around? I don't know. There's still Sony just keeps them around. Oh, they you know, mini disc the... is there's a lot of DAT stuff uses mini disc, like a lot of uh, is that what recording it is? for yeah, audio, yeah, yeah, like the uncompressed for, for crazy movies and stuff. Yeah, um, monochrome displays. Dude, Hercules <laughs> graphics cards. Remember Hercules no, graphics cards? Those are, those do They're not still exist. in IBM computers. Oh my god. Uh, personal. Di oh, Packard Bell. Packard, the Packard no, no. from Packard Bell. No. I thought Packard Bell and Hewlett. No, I think you just made that up. I did. I but uh, Amiga's still around. Amiga, that's good. Uh, zip zip drives. Did you remember when Z I Omega was like the stock to have in '95? Like that was that thing. Like, oh yeah. Everybody was like, "Well, this it's is it." It's still traded right now. I know it's probably yeah. Omega from it's like I O M or something drive. like that. Let me find out what it is. I don't know how they're still making money. Remember they tried to come out with like the Zip CD, and they're like, "It's like a Zip drive, but it's a burnable CD." And everyone's like, it's "You mean just like a burnable, burnable CD?" CD? <laughs> yeah, I don't like. Well, they try well, they to have the Jazz like zip. Drive. Yeah. And they have like. Oh, dude, yeah. Every drive show, that's Some of the big drives, though, are still used in data backup. Oh, tape, tape backup. Oh, Omega's gone. Oh. They're not publicly traded anymore. That's too bad. Oh, well. Wah, rah, rah. That sucks. <laughs> All right. Um, well, anyway. Hold on. I got, I got, like, two more. Let me just like, okay, throw quick, these quick. out there. Uh, Lotus 1, 2, 3, still won't die. After Dark screensavers. I loved After Dark I loved, screensavers. dude, After Dark. Flying toasters and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, I remember being pissed because... Alta, Alta Vista, Vista search engine. Search engine's still around. Move on, Move on, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. Smart. Cool. That's Again, it. software. I love it. All right, well, let's hit our sponsors, shall we? Uh, GoDaddy.com makes it easy to customize your own virtual dedicated server. Choose one of three popular plans plus or select one of your own Linux or Windows server uh, with all the option plans that you need. Plus, enter the code one when you check out and save an additional 10% off uh, your entire order. Some restrictions apply. See site for details. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. Also, you can find out all of the GoDaddy codes at uh, GoDaddy.com. Uh, that we have revision3.com slash GoDaddy. Sweet. Netflix, thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Dignation with Netflix. You can rent over 90,000 titles, including lots of Blu ray titles with free shipping both ways to your home. They have over 40 shipping centers, so most of the deliveries happen with just one business day. Plan starts just $4.99, and as a new member, you get a no risk two week trial membership. Check out www.netflix.com slash Dignation and remember the www are very important. Yes. That's also Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice of over 6,000 new and used titles across all consoles and handhelds with plans starting at $15.95 a month. Uh, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at any time, keep them as long as they'd like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing the game, send it back. Gamefly will send you your next available game on your list. Also, if you like it, click the keep it on the website and they will send you the manuals for free and uh, you can purchase it for a small fee. Dignation fans get a two week free trial. Go to gamefly.com slash dignation. Sweet. Uh, Systems 100th episode Dude, is coming out. That's hundred episodes of System. That is crazy. I had crazy. no idea there was that many. That's yes, insane. Next week. I, know. I know, we have our episode 200 like in a couple weeks. <laughs> System has been cranking on episodes. Uh, make sure to check out their 100th yeah. episode. Uh, come help celebrate with cake and who's is Prager offering the cake? Cake How and do, candles. System comes out each Monday, so uh, okay. free uh, cake from cake, Prager. Cake from Prager. All right. Last so story. last story before we say our found farewells. The worst homemade Star Wars costumes. Eight or nine hundred and twenty-one people dug this story. Submitted by, submitted by Mr. Baby Man. Some people may really love Star Wars. So to show their love, they will go to great lengths to dress up as their favorite characters for nerd conventions nerd parties or any other nerd based gathering. I love this. Here are some of the worst. This. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this. That is the worst looking Chewbacca I have ever seen this in my is life. what we call the homeless Chewbacca uh, or Hombaka. Is, uh, is it looks actually like, Chewbacca's it looks like brother the who's sort of a little touched in the head and can't really do as much bounty It looks bounty like the reggae he Chewbacca. To. He's like, like dreads coming off of his, <laughs> of his beard. We have the cardboard uh, stormtroopers. Cardboard stormtroopers couldn't quite get the cash together for the real <laughs> McCoy. Just grab some trash cans. Uh, good replicas, though, I would say. Some of these are actually pretty good for being bad, if you know what I mean. This <laughs> oh uh, is a... Uh, it, Boba Fett. It could be Boba, could be Boba Fett. Uh, uh, <coughs> I, I did not know that the uh, Mandalorian armor came with khaki shorts. That is awesome. But uh, could be... 
could be part of it. And the best part is there are pictures of me online dressed really crappily as Luke Skywalker. So feel free. Don't I'm not this is this is definitely hey. pot killing Call telling me. Coddle Black. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look creepy <laughs> Chewbacca with kids in the seventies. This guy looks like he just rolled up a shack rug and put it on. <laughs> Uh, it's horrible. <laughs> and this is probably one of those like professional performers that would like go to kids' schools and teach them how to like brush their teeth we as Chewbacca. We need to go as like really crappy Star Wars characters this Halloween. Glenn, are you in? Dude. Let's make the most <laughs> dude, awful... Dude, dude, look at this Chewbacca. <laughs> look at the R2-D2. <laughs> <laughs> I remember mean, just Chewbacca was like, I can get a blonde wig and a big beard and I'd be Chewbacca. <laughs> what? No. I mean, some sort of mask. And then there's some... That, that was bad. It's just a little thing. This guy... That's more of a bear This guy costume. took a bear costume and just put some on. This is... This, oh this is Darth Maul. That's the last one. Maul. Let's end on that one. This is Darth, Darth Maul. Maul. With the tight spandex. Yeah. Darth Maul is packing. A little, a little much. A little much. <laughs> I think the caption said, this is uh, from Darth Maul's appearance in The Wrestler 2 with Mickey Rourke. <laughs> I love it. Then, right. first off... Congratulations on being very creative. Yes. With your ability to have uh, costumes. You know what? They're funny, too. I mean, people are going to laugh at that. I, and I will say... I went as a Munchichi one year. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. A Care Bear? No. I wanted something really re stupid because I didn't have really cash. I went down to the store and they only had the kids' costumes left. I, like, stretched a kid's costume over me and I, I see, that's, that's fun. But uh, like I said, please, if, if, if anybody's offended by what I just said about crappy Star Wars costumes... We went to the Star Wars celebration and proudly wore costumes that I actually really enjoyed doing, but I know I didn't look very good. <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah. So, yeah, so hopefully that iLick app is out. I'm very yes. excited to see if people enjoy it. So, I, I, I Lick, L I I L I C K. Uh, or you can search for Montana or me on iTunes. I think it says that Montana's in there. Sweet. And uh, cool. big thanks to Sam of our Lounge. Yes, thank you very much for having us. And make sure to check out uh, samofourlife.com slash Kevin for the little starter tea set. If you're I'm looking excited. to get started into tea and want to try some of these stuff. So, we got a really good little kit. Can you with order strainer. some of this stuff online? Yeah, totally. It's I can get there. some of this maiden's anguish here. Ecstasy, it is good stuff. Mm. Well, that is it for this week's edition of Dig Nation. I am Alex Albright. And I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time, steep your tea correctly. Yes. yes.